This tutorial is about angle bisectors and perpendicular bisectors. Let's first begin by discussing angle bisectors. Take for example the angle that we've drawn in, angle YXZ. An angle bisector is a line that actually passes through the angle in such a location that it cuts that original angle into two equal angles. We call that bisecting the angle. So you can see here from the drawing that angle YXZ was cut by segment or line XW. Now, YXW is congruent to ZXW. Those two angles are congruent, which means the angle has been bisected. Now there's some interesting things that you should be aware of with angle bisectors. For example, let's draw this out. If you were to draw a perpendicular line to segment XY down to segment XW and a perpendicular line from segment XZ up to segment ZW, what you would find out is that both segment YW and segment ZW are going to be congruent. Now what that means for you is let's say we had a problem where we knew that segment YW was equal to 4x. So I'm going to write that in right there. 4x. And someone told us that segment ZW had a length of 20. Well, knowing that line XW is an angle bisector of angle YXZ, you also know that segment YW and segment ZW are congruent. So I'm just going to write congruent right here to the left. That means that we can turn this into an algebra problem and set those two segments equal to each other to solve for x. So we'll divide both sides by 4 to get the x alone on the left hand side and we'll get x is equal to 5. If you pause the video now you could plug that value in for x and check your work to find out that both segments yw and zw are equal to 20. Let's move on to perpendicular bisectors. So a perpendicular bisector is a line that bisects another line perpendicularly. So right now we've drawn triangle ABC. What I'm going to do is drop a line into here. This line dropping down from B, I'm just going to put a point on here and we're going to call it um, let's call it point Z. Point Z is going to bisect segment AC. So let's write that out. Once it bisects segment AC, it's almost a perpendicular bisector. It's bisected that segment, AC. Now the other thing that it's important is the name perpendicular. To be perpendicular you have to intersect, two lines must intersect, at a 90 degree angle. So if you can guess, this intersection right here is going to be a 90 degree angle. What that means then is that the hypotenuse of triangle ABZ, let's say, and the hypotenuse of triangle CBZ are actually going to be congruent as well. So there's some other interesting things about these perpendicular bisectors. For example, any point along the bisector itself is going to be equidistant from the outside points. So if I were to pick, let's say, I'll draw it in blue, this point right here, it would actually be the same distance to point A as it would be to point C. The same thing if I drew a point right here would be the same distance to both A and C or even a point up here. It doesn't matter so long as it's somewhere on the perpendicular bisector 
it's going to be equidistant from point A and C. So we could do a little math problem here. We could say that segment BZ or line BZ is bisecting segment AC perpendicularly and segment AB was 3x and segment BC were 9 you could solve for x by doing a simple algebra problem. We know that they're congruent. Even if they didn't tell you that they were congruent in the problem, if they just told you that segment or line BZ bisected segment AC, you would know that they're congruent because of the perpendicular bisector theorem, so that you could set these two equal like they are. 3x is equal to 9. We'll divide by 3 on both sides. The 3's will cancel and x will be equal to 3.